Hey, welcome everyone to the fifth video of this ROS navigation stack series. In this video, we are going to implement our ROS navigation stack on our custom designed robot which we created in our past videos. So before starting, I'd like to tell you if you are watching this video for the very first time, I'd suggest to watch out my previous video as every video is continuation of its previous one. So before starting, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as I bring such an interesting video every week. So let's get started. Now let's start and see how we can implement the navigation package. So for that, first of all, let's go into our Catkin workspace in the source. And here you can see I have made a package named navigation. So let's go into that package. And there are three most important folders which we you need to make in order to implement this navigation, which is parameter named param, maps and launch. So in param, there are these five files which are needed in order to pass the parameters to our move base dot launch file. So common cost map dot yaml, dwa planner dot yaml, global cost map dot yaml, local cost map dot yaml and move base dot yaml. So let's go through each of this file and understand what all parameter which we need to pass to our move base dot launch file. Common cost map dot yaml. So obstacle range ray trace range, the footprint of robot means if our robot is in triangular format or rectangular format, not triangular format, rectangular format or radius, robot is in circular format. So here we need to pass the coordinates of our robot in meters, then the robot radius, inflation radius, cost scaling factor. Let's see the other files. DWA planner. So here we pass on the parameter which is related to the velocity of robot, acceleration of robot, pad distance bias, pole distance bias, obstacle distance scale. So these are all the parameters which we passed in the DWA planner.yaml file. Then the global cost map file. Here is the global cost, global frame, the robot base frame, update frequency, publish frequency. These are all the parameters which we passed in global cost map. These are nearly common with the local cost map file. Let's see that local cost map file. So you can see that global frame, robot base frame, update frequency, publish frequency, transform tolerance. So local, this is all about local cost map. Then came the move base.yaml file. This is the, these are the parameters in which we need to pass on to the move base.launch file. So these five files are very important as it describes the parameters to our move base.launch file. So now, now let's go to the launch folder. In the launch folder, we need to make three files, which is amcl.launch, move base.launch, navigation.launch. So let's open amcl.launch file. So here you can see there are various parameters which we have passed. The parameter related to our LiDAR sensor and the, the parameter related to our ODOM frame, parameter related to the AMCL which are specific to AMCL.launch file. AMCL stands for Adaptive Monte Carlo Localization. So here we initialize or execute the node name AMCL from AMCL package. Type is AMCL and name is AMCL. So this we do in the amcl.launch file. Then comes the movebase.launch file. And here are all the parameters which we pass to the movebase.launch file from the parameter folder. So here we need to pass this command velocity topic and odom topic and various parameters such as global cost map. This is common cost map, local cost map and global cost map, movebase.yaml and dwa.yaml. Then comes the navigation.launch file. In order to execute amcl.launch file and move base launch file, in the using only a single command, we make this navigation.launch file. And here we execute the amcl.launch file and move base.launch file together. So here, first of all, we need to pass on the map where we have, and we need to pass on the location where we have stored the map which is in the navigation package maps folder and my world map dot 
yaml file then this is the map server which takes in this map file and then displays the map then amcl.launch file move launch file and move forward only this is an argument which tells that whenever a path is given to a robot the robot should move in forward direction only while following that particular path and these are the rvs configuration or where we have to find the rvs configuration so this is not much important to pass we can directly configure while the implementation of or while executing the navigation.launch file so now as we have seen the launch and parameter folders now let's see the map folder in this map folder we just save the map.yaml file which we made or saved during our g mapping here we pass that here we store that map file and now let's execute this and see it in action let's first source our workspace so now first thing is to execute the gazebo.launch file which is in our differential drive package which, which is in this package now here let's add our robot first second thing is the map third thing is the local cost map fourth thing is global cost map then the laser scan topic the particle array local plan and global plan let's change the color so let's select 2d navigation goal and give a goal so you can see that black line is our goal and you can see these arrows are converging as we move forward so this is how our amcl is acting so as these parameters are not tuned for this particular environment so you can you cannot guarantee that robot will always move to that path and stay there so in the next coming video we will see how to tune these parameters so here our robot has moved to that particular path and it has stopped now let's give another goal So now robot has started to move again to that goal. So as parameters are not tuned, so it is going going forward and it is trying to do or trying to converge to that path, but it is not able to do that thing. You can see the robot is trying to do, but it has now it can dash to this. Now it has dashed to this. So because of that you can see let's try to move the robot I think it should go to that particular path So you can see that the robot is not tuned so it has gone ahead of that path but still it will try to converge Till then let's see RQT. So these are all our nodes. Here is the gazebo, the AMCL. Gazebo GUI. Here is actually our gazebo, robot state publisher, joint state publisher, move base, map server, which is passing the map to the move base. AMCL is taking the scan topic, the TF static. TF stands for transform. So this is all about the implementation of navigation so in the next coming video we will see how to tune these parameters 
dynamically as well as statically so stay tuned until then stay creative with me technofetch